hop into middle school. I'm your host for today, Manoli Barris, and welcome to the last day before break. Finally, we're still working through a ton of interviews we've stocked up. So let's spend a minute with Mr. Car Carney. I come from a family of teachers, and my father was a newspaper editor, so I've always been into English and the language. My favorite part of teaching is the daily interactions with students and teachers, um, just making jokes, having fun, getting to know people better. I'm a people person. Um, teaching also gives me a chance to, to really be myself, and not all jobs are like that. Uh, my students have taught, teach me lots of things. Most importantly, all the current trends. Um, a few years ago, it was One Direction, and then it was Taylor Swift, and then it was the dab. During class, when we're making groups, I like to crumple up pieces of paper with people's names on them and make groups that way, and I throw them up, and I try to land them on this ledge here. And earlier this year, I landed a, a piece of paper on that ledge by throwing it over my shoulder. It was probably the greatest moment of my life. I have, uh, I have a cat named Kitty. Um, I have an overweight cat named Tiger. Um, I have a daughter. Her, her name's Jillian. She's 15 months old. Um, I have a wife named Mrs. Carney, and she teaches in an enemy school district, Medfield. And um, we have a son on the way in March. We're seven weeks away from being four Carneys instead of three. The best show in the history of the world is Paw Patrol, without a doubt. And the best song ever is the Paw Patrol theme song. Paw Patrol, Paw Patrol, whenever you're in trouble. Thank you so much, Mr. Carney. Next up, we're starting a brand new series we're calling Hello There, Middle School. These are some short clips from the high school students with advice from them to us. You get a ton of freedom to just really choose your own destiny and really do the things that you want to do by picking the classes that are personal to you and that can lead to really awesome experiences. Yeah, definitely. Like being on a sports team, like some of my best friends are underclassmen and some of my best friends were seniors that graduated too. Cool. We'll have some more clips next episode. Now, let's see what's happening with the student, Tom. My name is Tom Johnson. I'm in grade 8. And three of my friends are uh, Joey Arena, uh, Andy Gooby, and Andrew Mimo. I'm involved in rec basketball because rec is life. My favorite school project I've ever worked on was a passion project in seventh grade. Right now my passion in life is uh, Netflix in bed. If I could change anything about this school, I would definitely change the hours because 5.30 in the morning doesn't work for me. Um, something I'm good... <laughs> All right. Something I'm good at is Minecraft. I'm good at it because uh, I sit on a computer all day anyway. My favorite song is um, I Hit It First by Ray J. And my favorite story about me is um, two years ago in New York City, I hopped on the subway without my parents because the doors closed before the bell rang. And I was on there for like five minutes all by myself. It was fun. Thanks, Tom. Let's take a moment to hear from the HMS Club, The Green Machine. We're an environmental club looking for ways to make HMS a greener place. We meet to discuss problems our environment faces and take action to help make a difference. Great, so uh, what is that big white bin out in the teacher's parking lot? It's a bin that collects old textiles. So uh, what's a textile? Anything about fabric, dude. So I can just throw my old shirt in there? You sure can. You can put a whole bunch of stuff in there. Anything, t any type of footwear, shirts, jackets, pants, belts, ties, blankets, the tablecloth, your butter spilled gravy all over on Thanksgiving. Wait, I can put used stuff in there that's completely damaged? That's right. It can even have stains and holes. You'd be surprised what they can do with the textiles that people just throw away. Yeah, not only do you keep this stuff out of the dump, but the PTA makes money for every piece of textile that is recycled. Excellent work, thanks. Now we have Fun Fact Friday segment. Standing in for Mr. Rockwood, we have Miss Richards. Did you know that 3% of pet owners will give their pets Valentine's Day gifts? And did you know that it was really bad in the Middle Ages to sign a Valentine's Day card? I want all my signs, okay? So everybody, when you're giving me a, a Valentine's Day card, Manoli, <laughs> sign them. Thank you.
Thanks, bye. Awesome. Thanks for that, Miss Richards. Next up, we have our so famous question of the day. Today, we asked, of course, what are you doing for February break? I'm going on a road trip to Hopkinton. I'm going to sleep. I'm going to go to McDonald's for 24 hours. To study hard! Netflix! My vacation plans are to collect Pokemon cards. My vacation plans are to stay in bed all day. Final flip! Belly flopping into the snow. Belly flopping into the snow. Hi! Playing Pokemon Go. I'm going to California. For February vacation, I'm doing absolutely nothing because I'm silly. I'm going to Sunday River. My February plans are what I do over the weekend. Stay safe out there, folks. And now it's time for the birthday scroll. Happy birthday to... And that, as they say, is a wrap. You can always email us with suggestions for interviews, question of the day, or compliments and complaints. And see all of our stuff at hcam.tv slash hmstv. And remember to have a great time out there at uh, February vacation. Now get out there and study hard.